Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on time and speed calculations made simple. So a number of years ago, I did a video based on this button, which is the degrees, minutes and seconds button, which helps you with calculations which involve time, time being in hours, minutes or seconds, and helps you use it in decimal calculations. And that particular video proved quite popular and did indeed get a seal of approval from a very popular YouTuber too. So I thought it was time to revisit this particular button and show you some more ways on how it can help you with time-based calculations. Now I'm going to be doing this on a Casio FX85 GTX, but it's also going to be val valid for the previous model, the Casio FX8583 GT Plus, as well as the Casio FX991EX classes as well. So any calculator that's got this button, it's going to be valid for. Okay, so there is a number of questions we're going to be having a look at, each involving using this particular button to help us answer these questions very quickly and efficiently. So the first question that we have is, which is longer, two fifths of a day or 575 minutes? Okay, so we're going to start off by working out what two fifths of a day is. Well, we can find the time in hours by doing two fifths of 24, 24 hours in a day. So two fifths of that will be the number of hours. And we can see here we've got it displayed as this fraction 48 over five. It doesn't really mean anything like that. But if we press this degrees, minutes and seconds button, then that will change it into a time in hours and minutes for us. So two fifths of a day is nine hours and 36 minutes. And we've got to compare that with 575 minutes. Is that shorter or longer? So what we can do is we can use the time button to input that and change it from just minutes to hours and minutes so we can compare it. The way that we can do that is to say that we've got no hours and 575 minutes. Each time you press the button, it refers to a decreasing time unit. So hours, then minutes, then seconds. So this is displaying no hours, 575 minutes, but we'll display it in hours and minutes for us. So if we press equals, here we have the time, nine hours and 35 minutes. That's slightly less, in fact, one minute less than two fifths of a day, which was nine hours, 36 minutes. So two fifths of a day is longer. So the second way in which this time calculation button can help us out is if we have a timetable problem and we have a timetable here showing trains from Southampton to London. And the question is, how long does it take the 1547 from Southampton to get to London? So we know that it departs Southampton at 1547 and arrives in London at 1714. So what we're really after is the difference between these two times. So the difference involves a subtraction so we can put that in using the degrees, minutes and seconds button. We can say 17 hours, 14 minutes, subtract 15 hours and 47 minutes. So that's, so that's end time or finish time minus start time. What's the difference? It's one hour 27. So it takes the train one hour 27 minutes to get from Southampton to London. Another way in which the degrees, minutes and seconds button can help us is with working out problems with average speed. And there's going to be two problems on this. The first question here, Dilly drives 185 miles if she leaves home at 6.42 a.m. and arrives at 10 a.m. What was her average speed? OK, so this is a speed problem. We need to find out what the speed was or average speed. Well, that is going to be her distance divided by time. So speed is distance divided by time. So what I'm going to do is set up a fraction. And on the top, we've got the distance of 185 miles. Now we're going to put the time. So the time will be the difference between the finish time and the start time. So the finish time was 10 hours, 10 a.m. minus the start time, which was six hours, 42 minutes. And if we press equals, that's given us a fraction in the first instance. Let's press SD to have a look at that as a decimal. 56.06, so it's about 56 miles per hour. Top figure 185 was in miles, and our bottom figure will be calculated in hours. So it's 56 miles per hour, so straight to the answer there. Similar question here. 
we're working at average speed. A car travels 3.6 miles in four minutes. Work out the average speed in miles per hour. So again, speed is distance divided by time. So it's 3.6 on the top. And this time we know the time was four minutes. So it's no hours. Remember, you must put that in to indicate it's no hours. And then four minutes. So second press of the button will indicate minutes if we've got hours in there already. Press equals, and here we have directly to our speed, 54 miles per hour. Okay, and the last thing covered in this video is we're going to find the mean length of three films. So we've got three films here with the length of three films, and we're going to work out the mean time, the mean duration of these movies. So film one is one hour, 46 minutes long. So it's one hour, 46 minutes plus, and film two is two hours and 23 minutes plus and then we've got the last film here that's just given in minutes in fact that's quite a common way to give a film length is just in minutes so it's 123 minutes so remember how we put this in zero hours 123 minutes and press equals now this is the sum of the time the total sum of the time so adding the time for the three films together it's six hours 12 minutes and that could equally be a question as well summing times but if we want the mean average then we've got to divide that by the number of films that we have which is three so divide it by three and here we've got the average film length which is two hours and four minutes so there we go some different ways in which we can use the degrees minutes and seconds essentially the secret time calculation button that we have on the Casio scientific calculator it's on quite a few different models so just keep a look out for it hopefully you've got one on yours and it's going to make some of these time and speed calculations a lot easier for you but that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time on the calculator guide